Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com. I'm at uh, ConExpo ConAg 2017 in the Volvo booth with Eric Yomans, who's the product manager for wheel loaders in North America for Volvo. Uh, Eric, uh, the, the L260, um, right? I'm sorry, I had to look and, look and remind myself that the L260 has been, uh, been redesigned. I think it was introduced here uh, three years ago, yes? Two, two Con Expos ago, actually. Two Con yeah. Expos ago, okay. Yeah, we, we, at that time, we, we came with the 250G. We launched it to Con Expo as a two-pass wheel loader. Mm -hmm. And since then, we came with the 250H, and, and now this Con Expo, we come with the 260H. Okay, okay. So we just haven't just added a number to it. There's actually some significant changes to the actual product. Yeah, what do you? What, what are the ones that you think are going to make the most impact in the North well, I, I think, number one, the bucket is, is really... We're really excited at the bucket. We, this machine now comes with a nine and a half cubic yard flat floor rehandling bucket. So we come with a longer floor on that. We, we don't have the skid plates on the back. So for customers that are looking to keep their area work area nice and flat and clean, the flat floor bucket works extremely well. Mm -hmm. We have these convex sides now on the bucket also, which really helps to keep the material retention. When you fill the bucket, then you go back and then you go to offload into the truck. So it gives you about five percent more productivity okay. when you fill the buckets. Yeah, this this machine really is a, a, a lot about rehandling. It's about about loading highway trucks and two Correct. passes. Yes. Uh, what what other kinds of features uh, changed in the, the machine's ability to get that that stuff into the into the bed? What we, what we've actually also done is we've redesigned and re-engineered now the loader arm on there. You'll see it looks completely different to the existing one that we have. Mm -hmm. And then we also redesigned the front frame that actually the loader arm connects on. To. So we reduced the weight by about 1,700 pounds. So by, wow. by reducing the weight, it also means that now you can put a bigger bucket or you can get more material. In the, you know, sure. That. And better hydraulic performance if you're using the same stuff. And, and then at the same time, we also extended the length of the rear frame or the, the wheelbase by another two inches. So that gives us better st stability as well. Okay. So by, by reducing your operator weight or operating machine oper operating weight, you are enhancing your fuel efficiency performance because if you have a heavy machine or a machine that's two or three thousand pounds or ten thousand pounds heavier you, mm -hmm. you have to get you have to use fuel to move that machine around sure sure how do you then respond to challenges or questions about about durability and often oftentimes contractors equate weight with with lots of steel and lots of durability what uh, what do you say to them when they when you say you've taken 1700 pounds out of a loader arm on a machine like this? we I mean it, I don't know if you're aware or not, but we're still the only manufacturer that back up our product with lifetime. So we give a lifetime frame warranty. So we give lifetime warranty on the boom. We also give lifetime warranty on the front frame, the rear frame, and the articulation joint. And we have a new transmission in the L260H. So some of the features is that we actually reduced the distance between when we change from second to third to fourth gear. So that gives us much, much faster acceleration and then also really increased rim pull. And then also in, in when it comes to hill climbing, that it, it, much, much better performance. So you closed up those gear ratios yes. is what yes. you're saying. So it's we did. less of a step between each Correct. gear. Exactly. Okay. That's All a right. good way to put it. And then at the same time, we, we've also come up with the ability for a customer now to select because this transmission comes with lock-up converter. Mm -hmm. So basically making a, a direct drive from the engine to transmission giving you about 15% uh, better fuel uh, or less fuel consumption. We've taken it so that a customer can select to have lock-up come in in second gear and up, or he can have it to come in in third gear, or he can have lock-up just in fourth gear. Oh, okay. So it really makes it more customized to different customer applications. We talked a little bit about fuel, fuel efficiency advantage with the lock-up. When you put that with the OptiShift system that, that uh, Volvo's got, how, how does this machine compare in terms of fuel efficiency overall to the, its predecessor? Well, if, if, I, if I take everything, and I haven't covered all the, all the new features, but, but sure. if I take the bucket, I take the new longer wheelbase, I take the new transmission, I take the new hydraulics, the 260's approximately about 10% more fuel efficient than the 250, which was already 
unbelievably fuel efficient. Yeah, sure. But we, when I talk about the hydraulics, we, we've come up with a new system, LSG2, like load sensing generation 2 for okay. the Volvo. So what, what we actually do during lowering and dumping the bucket, we don't use hydraulic flow for that. We regenerate the oil. So when you're lowering, you're taking the oil from the piston end of the cylinder, mm -hmm. and we regenerate that back into the piston rod side of the cylinder. So we're sure. turning off yeah. the hydraulic pump. So that, that's giving us about 3% fuel saving. It's still the same D13J tier for final engine, okay. but what we've done is we've bumped up the horsepower by 6% and the torque we've also increased by 5%. So our maximum torque is at 1100 RPM. Oh wow. Okay. So you know, if you think about that for a minute, you say, okay, so the maximum torque at engine is 1100 RPM. So if your engine's running at only 1100, you're using very little fuel at all.